Hello guys, Bobby here. Today we're gonna take a look at Fristelix 1.3. Um, it's a Vulnhub box, so uh, as mentioned before, I took a break from the hack the box uh, vulnerable machines because I didn't really have much time to to spend on pen testing because of the university and all. So yeah, Vulnhub is free, so you should definitely check check it out. Uh, all right, so. I've set up my machine here in VirtualBox, sorry, I like that, and I have uh, Freestylix running, it's right here, so as you can see the IP is 172.16.1.129, and if we go to Kali, uh, this one it is, um, I will I save the nmap output. It's very simple. Uh, so basically, I run nmap minus a um, minus ln to save the output in a txt file and the ip. So yeah, there you have it. Also, uh, interestingly enough, ro um, nmap found robots.txt, and there you s you can see slash cola slash cc and slash beer. And if we copy this and go to the actual page, like that, it says keep calm and drink Fristy. All right, so what I thought is okay, we have in robots.txt, we have slash cola slash 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 cc and slash beer so i thought yeah okay maybe all of these are drinks right uh and i thought okay maybe there's slash fristy as well so yeah of course there was slash fristy and you have a login page here for the admin so i tried uh, to sql i used the sql map nothing nothing interesting and if you take a look at um the source code of the page. If we go down, 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 down. I think yeah, it's here at the bottom of the page. Yeah, this is a um, image uh, encoded in. I mean, base sixty four encoded image. If we go online and say base sixty four image. Uh, decode, I think. Um, yeah, base is the to image decoder. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Paste it and generate the image. We have that, which turned out to be the password for the admin so I'll write it down here okay like that let me copy it let's copy it okay go back and if we take a look here, uh, not on the source code, like that. Oh, sorry, on the source code, yeah. Uh, so on the source code, you can see that there is a node left by e -E -Z -E -P -Z. So we try to use that username, e -E -Z -E -E -P -Z, with a password that we found on the image, right? Hit login. Yeah, login successful. Um, mm, yeah, nothing interesting in a source in the source code in the source code page. Uh, we have the upload.php, and we can upload an image. Um, an image to uh, an an image to the server. So, of course, ideally, I tried. 
I mean, initially I tried to upload a simple PHP file, but it has a filter. So what I did is I searched for um, this to how to store PHP. No, sorry, not this. Um, PHP dot PHP dot uh, JPEG. Uh, exif to something like that and get the security uh, bypass image upload then they have so ba basically we can rename the shell however we want um, but we will name it as .php .jpg. so we copy this I mean not not that but uh, this command go back to the terminal and you basically need any JPEG file but for example I have this one which is a like totally random JPEG file um, so I'm gonna use the command on that one paste uh, like that so I'll call it on, on index dot p uh, sorry yeah on index the JPEG enter and it says one image file uh, updated and then we want it to be .php .jpeg to actually execute on a server right so yeah all we have to do is move the index.jpg to index.php .jpeg yeah all right so everything is set up um i go back to upload I can close this browse to my um, free leaks and then this one php.jpg and open it and then you press upload but I already already have it uploaded uh, but I'm gonna show you how it works so it says upload the image uh, the file has been uploaded to slash upload so we go to upload slash uploads slash index php dot jpeg right okay so there's a lot of gibberish in here but all we had to do is basically our php file gets the parameter uh, cmd and anything you insert after it it's basically a command so we'll have remote code execution such so we're gonna say like cmd equals ls and it's gonna print the it's gonna execute ls on the server so um yeah now we have now we have to get a reversal and how do we do that well if you go to pen test monkey uh, i tried all of these all of these but only the python work for me so I'm gonna copy the Python uh, reversal sorry one line reversal uh, paste it of course adapt it to my needs I like to use the port uh, 333 like that and my IP let's see let's see my what my IP is Okay, so it's okay. So I'm gonna run uh, sudo and see lvp333 to set up a listener and copy the IP. Go back and uh, paste it here, and now we can run it. And yeah, we have the reversal. Yeah, now and now I can close it because otherwise you will just uh, use some memory. Because Fire Firefox is very needy, so I can close uh, the Firefox. But I usually, I usually use uh, bin bash, not uh, bin sh, when I'm in a box. Because sometimes it has some limitations. Uh, so all I have to do is Python minus c import pti pti to spawn bin slash bin slash bash like that enter and we have bash 
Now if you go back, I think, let me see, oh yeah, we have the notes here. <clears throat> yeah, so they say, hey, easy, please, uh, your home directory is a mess, go clean it up, just don't delete the important stuff. Yeah, okay, so we go to the home, uh, we go to is EPZ like that and we have another node.txt file so this one says um, I made it possible for you to co to do some automatic checks but I didn't but it did only allow you to access to user bin system binaries I did, however, copy a few extra often needed commands to my home directory. Okay, so basically, this is important. Um, just put a file called run this in temp, each line, uh, each line one command. The output goes in a cron result in uh, slash temp. It should run every minute with my uh, account privileges. So, I think, uh, yeah, I do have, uh, yep. yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, I can't override that, but uh, th this was from before when I, when I, uh, when I first got root on the, when I first rooted the box. If I go to home, uh, and it was here. Oh, I actually don't have to come back here, sorry. Yeah, so I want to re, I, mean, I want to have access on the home slash home slash admin folder. So how do I do that? Well, I, I'll give myself uh, the privileges to do it. And uh, how I do that? Well, as you can see here, it says, I did, however, copy a few extra often needed commands to my home directory ch mod df cat and so on and we only need the, the ch mod so how do we how do we put a file called run this um, don't use nano because it's gonna break uh, and we have to use echo echo slash home slash admin slash ch mod uh, 777 minus r because it should be uh, recursive on home slash home slash admin into um, how is it called run this all right enter all right and um, it will take a while and now we can ex we can cat cat cron result yeah it executed uh, quite a lot of times for some reason and if I go back to home and go to admin yeah I have access now and can uh, read all the files here alright so now if we move on we will need to so basically um, we have the uh, crypt pass.py which encrypts the password uh, that he's given, that like the user give, the user gives. So what I did is I copied this and did a decrypt.py. So basically, I have the encode part here, which you can see here. So I just copied the the script, pasted it here, and adapted it to my needs. And now I have the decode. Um, now I have the decoder for it. Uh, yeah, I'll explain how it how it did it. I don't really know Python, so I'm kind of uh, a new. I mean, I'm kind of new to it. So this returns the base64 decode of the decode of the. Re this is the reverse of the string. So this is the reverse of this. Uh, and it decodes uh, using the rot13 
encoding the string and then it decodes the whole thing after it is uh, root 13 decoded and then it prints the result so if I do python decrypt.py we can get the password after the after decoding so whose password is it <clears throat> well as you can see there are three users uh, three main users at least uh, admin easy epz fristy god at the moment i think we are easy e -E because it says apache but probably yeah uh, we are easy epz and now if we do sudo minus um, fristy fristy god you can paste the password No, sorry, not sudo. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, it's su uh, freeze the god, I think. Yeah. And yeah, we are freeze the god. So if you go to his directory, you can see that it's empty basically. And if we run sudo minus l and paste the password again. Uh, we can see some details here, uh, not really relevant, and something really interesting. You can see that on slash var slash fristigod slash dot secret admin stuff dot com, we can execute it as fristy. Yeah, this is the tricky part because at first I, I was trying to execute it as fristigod, but we must execute it as fristy, not fristigod. So how do we do that? Well, we do sudo minus u and specify the username, which in our case is fristy. Do this. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you first that I can't run it on my own. And it says, nice try, but wrong user. So basically, we have to run it as fristy because that's this is kind of a hint. sudo minus u fristy and paste the command again uh yeah uh, sorry I, I forgot to specify what what we what we want to do with it so we want to get uh, the shell as root sorry as admin or as root or whatever you want to call it and I say this is the command that we want and Yeah, because basically it says usage, uh, program name, terminal command, and the terminal command that we want is bin bash because we want to get a reversal. I mean, not a reversal app, but like as a shell as root. Hit enter, and voila, we are root. Should go back here. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cat it because, uh, I mean, I'll cat it. Cause not like I hacked the box uh, where I, where I'm not allowed to to show the the credentials. I mean not the credentials, but like the flags for active machines and stuff. Yeah, and this is the final flag. Uh, yeah, thank you for the box, uh, Aroxa. Yeah, here's his link. And it yeah, as it says, it maximum four hours. It took me about four of if between four or five hours between because I kind of got lost here. Literally, I spent two hours without noticing this fristy because I thought uh, I thought all this time I thought that we are fristy, not fristy god. But yeah, my bad. So yeah, this was about it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna, as usual, I'm gonna post the in the description. I'm gonna post the tools that I've used and the sites. I mean, the websites that I've used. And I think I'm also gonna put a link to the uh, password decrypt, so you guys can uh, can see it. Yeah. In the meanwhile, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you again, and yeah. See you next time.